Hey, what's going on everyone? Today we're going to talk about the Vega architecture which was just unveiled at CES. We're going to have a brief overview of the information that was revealed and really we already knew most of the information. The VE.GA website stated that we would get a Vega preview once the timer ran out and we did, it just wasn't in the form of a live stream. What we learned today at CES was pretty much this. AMD's top Radeon Pro card runs on Vega. The newest Vega flagship also uses HPM2. The Vega flagship also has similar performance to a GTX 1080. And this said Vega card will possibly have the same memory controller as the MI25 Radeon Pro card, aka the card that has up to 1TB of video memory. Most of this has been known for a while now, and the focus of the show was mostly on professionals and how they might use Vega. Gaming was hardly mentioned. However, we did get a couple of gameplays, one of which was Star Wars Battlefront, the other, Doom. Ryzen, on the other hand, had a better day. We learned all about the AM4 motherboards already in production at the show, including all of the boards on this list, and also we learned that in the Star Wars Battlefront demo with Vega and Ryzen, Ryzen was running at a base clock of 3.4 GHz with a boost clock of 3.6 GHz, which is an improvement, but I think people want something a little closer to 4 GHz. We still know nothing about pricing, so that is sad, but at least rumors about Vega have been solidified. Well, thanks to everyone for watching the video. Make sure you check out some of my other videos to catch up on Vega, Zen, or KB Lake news. Subscribe and like this video to show your support. And again, thanks for watching. Have a great day.